I'm one week out and I don't have shoes for my show. Mom? Mom? What is going on guys, Will here. Welcome to the video. Today we are gonna be eating and training like an IFBB figure pro one week out from competition, specifically Mary Vald. We did a video on her in the past of her lower body workout and off season diet. You guys loved her, you guys wanted her back, so guess what? We bring her back. So we're doing a little bit different today. So we're doing her upper body workout, her back workout, and following her one week out prep diet just to show you guys how strict and on point you guys gotta be if you're looking to compete. That'd be a pretty cool insight for some of you guys. So that is that, a lot less calories than last video to my delight, but it's gonna be fun. It is gonna be informational and it's just gonna be a good time. So sit back relax and let's get into the video. All right, meal numero uno, AKA meal number one, AKA breakfast for you normal people out there. So we have egg whites and oatmeal, of course, because when there is egg whites, oatmeal is pretty close by. So this meal comes up to 215 calories. Is this even considered a meal? I really don't know. So it's five egg whites, a quarter cup of dry measure of oatmeal, and then a tablespoon of hemp. I mean, you can't go wrong with oats. There's like a sensual quality to it, you know? At least to us in the fitness industry, we're all freaks. So uh, on, on top of that, we also have some water. So she drinks seven liters throughout the day, which is a lot of water, but I've been taught, just don't focus on the next one, just focus on finishing off the one in front of you. Um, so this might look pretty bland, and that's because it is, but don't worry, she likes to season up her food. She doesn't use salt unless it's for the pre-workout meal. And this is not the pre-workout meal, so she likes to use some cinnamon for her oats. And then on her eggs, she likes hot sauce because she thinks spicy food suppresses her appetite and I couldn't agree more. So we're gonna baste these egg whites and get eaten. I don't even think I'll, I don't, I don't even think I'll need a time lapse because just like me, this meal is gonna be finished in 10 seconds. And look at this spoon that I'm using just to savor my oats, just even more, it's just a little hobbit spoon. All right. So I will also put on the screen right now the supplements that she would take at breakfast while I'm eating this. Made light work of that oatmeal. Well, you know what? I'm starting to empathize with my girlfriend because this breakfast felt like it finished before it even started. So, I mean, I probably wouldn't have had a breakfast. I would have pushed my meal later into the day if I was prepping, but I'm not the IFBB pro. She is, so she probably knows what she's talking about. So I'm gonna go chill for a bit and then go prep the rest of the meals for the day. All right, so meal prep is in full effect right now. We have everything going here. We have some salmon, we got chicken breast, we got some cod. I even got the Tupperware. I'm like a method actor, you know? I just want to feel the part. So we got that going too. Got the seasonings. We got some spinach that we're about to saute up. I got the rice simmering away. Completely butchered my Brussels sprouts, but I mean, honestly, in my opinion, crispy Brussels sprouts taste amazing. Got some sweet potatoes. Yeah, so we're gonna wait for the meat to finish up cooking, plate that up, and then get to meal number two. All right, everybody, time for meal number two, also the pre-workout meal, coming out to 243 calories, so a little bit more than last meal, we're, we're moving up in life, so 215 calories, 243 calories. This is what we got going on in here. We have four ounces of chicken breast, three ounces raw measure of sweet potato, and then some sauteed spinach with some garlic and lemon juice. I am starving. Meal prepping when you're hungry is probably one of the hardest things in the world. Also starting on my second liter of water for the day. A lot of swallowing. I kind of underestimated this, but nothing I'm not used to. Wow, okay. And I bet by this point in prep, sweet potatoes would be a lot like a good Tinder combo because it would successfully manipulate you into thinking it's like a moist apple crumble, you know? I had the privilege of putting on some cinnamon during the baking process. No salt though. Oh yeah, she's good. They're whispering to me. Put Walden Farms on me. I know babies, I know. Not today. Hopefully there's enough fuel in this meal that I can actually go and work out after this. So at least if I get outlifted by Mary, I have an excuse because this is just obnoxious. We're two meals in and I'm still under 500 calories. But you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Bodybuilding, competing is not easy. 
The one good thing about this meal plan is that it's really teaching me to slow down and enjoy every bite. Mm. Last bite. <clears throat> All right, so meal number two down, three ounces of sweet potato, far too much of a tease for me, but the good news is I won't need any time at all to digest, so I'm gonna go get ready for the gym and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so that is leader number three of seven and look who it is. It's the woman of the hour, Mary. We're gonna do a back workout, right? Yes. I was actually saying that I think that you're gonna outlift me. Because I've, I've had two of the meals so far okay. and I'm below 500 calories for the day. So what are we doing for the back workout? Uh, we're gonna start off with some uh, lap pull downs. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna do uh, four sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. Okay. So you're gonna sit down, and you're gonna stretch the lats up, good? Yeah. And then you're gonna keep the elbows nice and locked, yeah. and then you're just gonna engage the lats. Pull down. Okay. Keep that straight, and you're just gonna engage the lats, not the arms. That's it. Back up. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Engage the lats. That's it. Oh, wow. So you're not going all the way down? Not all the way down, you're just warming up. So stretch it out. Good, and then bring it down. That's it. So you're gonna do 10 of these. Awesome. So after you, he's done the 10, maybe about two sets of those, then we start our working sets, which okay. is what I'm talking about, which is the four. Oh, 10 to 15. Out of okay, 15. let's do it. Yeah. All right guys, so we've just done two warm sets of the contractions, the lats, now it's on to four sets of 10 to 15, all the way down. So again, the movement starts from the lat first, the lat engages, and then the arms finish off the movement. So we're just gonna do a quick drop set as soon as you're done with that. You're gonna reduce- Drop set? Yes. Surprise! Oh. Go ahead and sit down. Okay. Keep your left arm straight. Okay. And then you're gonna drive this elbow all the way down. Good. Don't hit your head. Arch your back. Good. And alternate. Good. How many? Ten? Yeah, ten on each side. So the elbow comes all the way back. So far as you can. Good. Am I doing a mini twist? Yeah. So if you're crazy like me, you would add this after every single working set. <laughs> All right, so next up we are doing some metal rows, four sets, 10 to 15 reps. And you have a special way of doing this because I've never seen metal rows with that handle before. Yep, yeah, so if you don't have a handle like this at your gym, you could always just use the actual bar to do the metal rows. But in this case, what we want to do is we want to hit the uh, lower traps and the rhomboid here. And this one's not really about the weight, right? It's more just It's not about the weight, it's about the contraction. Okay. And I think the most important thing here is what a lot of people do is they do like a like an oblique twist to it. Yeah. But you gotta make sure that you keep your upper body nice and parallel to the floor. So the twist only comes from the shoulder. You get a full stretch and then you bring it back. Okay, sounds good. There you go. Because we want to hit the rhomboid and the traps area. Put that thickness up here. And you just gap a lift. <laughs> That's four sets. Oh wow. Okay, so we have done the lap pull down, we have done the meadows row, now we're on to, what's this one called? 
uh, the pulleys, the lap pulleys. Lap pulleys, so it's one arm at a time, very similar to the drop set on the lap pull downs. So you like to do a lot of unilateral work. I do, yeah. And just because you feel like it just evens everything out? Evens everything out and uh, you have less opportunity for your more dominant side to overpower the movements. Okay, yeah. yeah, so everything today is four sets of 10 to 15 reps. Okay, so we're gonna do some supinated pulleys here. And we're gonna do a spinal lateral flexion as well. So we're gonna do alternating. Start with the right, squeeze down on it. So don't lean back so much, stand a little bit straighter. Good, right there. And when you do it, so you're gonna crunch, almost like you're doing an oblique crunch. There you go. Ooh. Do you feel that? Yeah. So when he comes down, he kind of crunches at the bottom here. Pulls it back up, and same thing on this side. He crunches and he hits the lower lats here. And you drive with the elbow back all the way, all the way, good, and crunch. So we're doing some seated rows here and uh, I like to use the same type of movement as I do for lap pull down. So when I'm pulling, I like to pull with my lats and not my arms. And if you want to just familiarize yourself with this movement a few times before you get into engaging the arms. So it's like two movements in one. Exactly. Okay. So I can't even feel my back, and we're on to the last exercise. Yes, we are on so to the last. So pull-ups? Yeah, so uh, we're gonna do pull-ups, but we're gonna do them banded. Okay. And the reason why I do a banded at the end of the workout is because at this point, we're done, we're fatigued, yeah. and we still wanna hit the right muscles without utilizing our forearms or compromising our grip and stuff. biceps and okay. all that stuff. So what I want you to do, Will, is uh, just uh, drive with your chest. Alright guys, well that was the workout, 20 sets of back. I haven't done 20 sets of back in one session since like 10 years ago. So my back is toasted, probably gonna have DOMS for the next like three weeks. But uh, definitely give this back, we're gonna try, I'll link it in the description. Thank you so much. No problem. So I'm gonna go and have meal number three, which is in the car. A nice, beautiful four ounces of cod and just like a little morsel of brown rice. Super, super good back workout. Time for meal number three. Uh, I'm in the gym parking lot right now because the anabolic window, especially when you're doing contest prep, you want to maintain as much muscle mass as you possibly can. So we're eating immediately after training and brought it with me. So my muscles are just screaming for nutrients and it looks like they're still going to be screaming because this is the lowest calorie meal of the day. Coming out to 205 calories. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. God damn. Okay. Oh, well, it smells like fish. Packing fish with you is is not nice, I'll tell you that. And I'm getting lean cuisine vibes from this kind of situation. I don't know why, it looks like it'd be like, sort of like Kung Pao cod with like fried rice and you open it, and guess what, you've been catfished. So we have in here four ounces of cod, we have three ounces of Brussels sprouts, so I had the option here between asparagus and Brussels sprouts. Ollie's from Brussels and I wanted to share some of his gains, so a little bit of Brussels sprouts, also my favorite veggie. And then we have a quarter of a cup of brown rice. I would do white, I'm just putting it out there. And it's not even a dry measure of rice, it's actually the cooked measure. So pretty much two tablespoons, enough to uh, fill my toe with glycogen. 
At this point, what is the point? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna cherish every last grain of this rice. Oh, that is good. These meals taste great. They just don't last long. I'm telling you, drinking seven of these is gonna be like the death of me. I've been peeing nonstop all day. I really, I, I'm assuming she drinks this much water, also to flush out water, but also to like keep her full. And I don't really, I really don't know if that works for me. I feel like I'm just my own breed, you know? This is a very tasty meal. Burnt Brussels sprouts is where it's at. Love cod. I wonder who depends more on cod, bodybuilders or 14 year old boys? I don't know. All right, three down, four to go. That is what she said. So this is meal number three, and I hate to say it, but we're over halfway down the diet. And I still think that we're right around, we're not even at 800 calories yet for the day. So I, I really don't know how she does this. I would need to follow this up with a cheat day. All right, meal number three down. Somehow I feel more nutrient depleted than before I even started eating. Uh, so gonna head home now. Uh, and start preparing the next meal, and then we still have a bunch of cardio to do. And yeah, it's uh, the prep life. Okay, so just a general life update, I am hungry. And speaking about being hungry, I thought I'd show you guys what I do when I'm on a diet to stay full. So here we have a wide spectrum of things. Here we have just things like, if you're kind of hungry, you need something to curb your appetite, to over here, where you're like, I might eat my loved ones, what the heck should I do? So starting over here, we have just like the obvious ones. We have some black coffee, caffeine's a very good appetite suppressant. You got some sparkling water, you know, it just fills up your stomach. And then gum, I chew a lot of gum, just flavor in your mouth. I feel like flavor, besides water, helps you stay full. So that is that stuff, zero calories. Then we move on to this stuff over here. And if I could pick one thing from this table, definitely chicken stock is king. So for uh, two thirds of a cup, it's only 10 calories, one gram of carb and one gram of protein. So what I do is I pour a whole thing onto a pot and just let it get hot drink it throughout the day, it really suppresses my appetite. Another really good thing is some sugar-free Jello. Only around five calories, actually it is only five calories a pack. Okay, so we have the zero calories to minimal calories. Then we get over to here, last resort, what the heck should you do? So what I have to do sometimes if I'm super hungry, I'll go to the fridge, I'll bring a teaspoon with me, and I'll just take as much as my, my spoon can handle. And whatever, can, it could be like this high, that high, and that's it. Because I find Greek yogurt to be probably the most filling food in the world. So again, bring a spoon to the fridge, Take one thing and that's it. Close the fridge, walk away, eat it slowly. I promise you it'll keep you full. So that is for the yogurt. And then we have the spinach and we have cucumber. So I usually sometimes do dice up a whole cucumber. Honestly, it's probably like 30 calories. This whole thing of spinach is probably around 30 calories as well. Mix those up or just do one of each. And then put a little bit of a fat-free Italian dressing. You're only looking at five calories a tablespoon, couple squirts right on top. And yeah, so that is that. So these are my strategies to stay full on a diet. So now we're gonna go prepare meal number four, which is the pre-cardio meal. All right, so we have meal number four here, just under 150 calories, one whole egg. We have the privilege of having a yolk today, five egg whites, and then one cup of any green veggie of your choice. I mean, the one I would actually use would just make me more hungry, so just one with spinach instead. And this will be the pre-cardio meal, 45 minutes cardio. Obviously smothered it with some Frank's Red Hot. Oh my God, I love scrambled eggs. All right guys, so about to hop into the cardio. So Mary likes to do seven days a week, 45 minutes, low intensity steady state on the Stairmaster or on the incline treadmill. So I don't have a Stairmaster, so we're doing the incline treadmill. And my goal for this is just to finish the fourth liter, start the fifth liter, and just honestly, to survive this cardio session. I have the hoodie on, gonna throw up a storm, so let's do it. All right guys, well that was 45 minutes of low intensity steady state cardio. This is all I have left of the fifth liter. So I did 3.2 speed, 7% incline, burnt just over 350 calories. So pretty much a meal and a half is completely gone. So that completely wiped me out. I am super tired, I'm super hungry. So I'm gonna go shower and then see you guys at the last meal. All right. 
right guys, time for meal number five, the last meal of the day. I'm super excited. I don't know if it's because I'm super hungry or the fact that this day is almost over or the fact that this is the first meal above 300 calories. And right now, my entire family is having Papa John's pizza with some beer in the other room and I'm here having five ounces of salmon with a medium salad with one ounce of avocado and some cucumber. I mean, medium, medium salad is open to interpretation so I think I pushed the limits with this massive bowl. So, gonna get this down. Also on my sixth liter of water. Oh, the smell in the other room. Mm. One ounce of avocado. That's like me having a Boston cream donut and like eating around the filling. Like, what's the point? I'd rather not have it, you know what I mean? There's like a few morsels of avocado. <clears throat> and cucumber is just such a good thing on a diet. So low in calories, so high in volume. Very hydrating, just very healthy. All right, so the sixth liter down, one more to go. I'm gonna be peeing a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wet the bed tonight for sure. Balsamic vinegar has never tasted so flavorful in my life. Salmon was unreal. That was meal number five. Check with you guys soon. Just in my room right now, trying to socially distance myself from my kitchen. So when I think of doing contest prep, I think about doing the actual bodybuilding show, and then after the show is done, having the post-show cheat meal. So I prepped all day today, so naturally, I deserve a cheat meal, don't I? So Mary's go-to cheat meal is sushi, which I can understand, and then a big bowl of fruit, which just solidifies the fact that she's a psychopath. So you guys know mine, it would be donuts. They are my love language, and they are cheaper than therapy. So I don't wanna do that again, it's just too repetitive. It's, it's expected, you know, and I wanna switch it up a little bit. So we're gonna go out right now, get something sweet, high in carbs, tasty, and I'll let you guys know what we get. All right, guys, we are back. So my calories for the day before we get into this good stuff was 1,180 calories. I had 143 grams of protein, 73 grams of carbs, and 35 grams of fat. And now it's time to enjoy. So we went to just a local grocery store and picked up a few little goodies here. So we got a couple of cannolis here. We got a cream-filled horn. Sounds intriguing to me. Just a strawberry cheesecake. And then what's this one called? Raspberry rugelash. Raspberry rugelash. Also, take a look at this uh, mug that a subscriber got me. That much left of the seventh liter. I drank in seven of these today. How much have you peed? A lot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wet the bed tonight. So the cannoli is pretty much like a, an Italian fortune cookie situation, right? Uh, Minus just like, instead of paper telling you to not procrastinate, it's just you get a, a load of cream in your mouth. Better? Yeah. Oh yeah, strawberry cheesecake. Is this supposed to be one bite or two bite? One, eat the green thing. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this one now? Yeah. So this is the raspberry rugelash. All right, and last but not least, the last thing of the day is the cream filled horn. Mm, 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 mm. All right guys, well I'm gonna wrap up the video here. That was eating and training like an IFBB figure pro, very valid. She is the best, I'll link her in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.